Okay guys, this is Shotgun here, going to give you a step-by-step -step process showing you how I create matched EQ impulse responses for the AxeFX or whatever other device you have that can use an in, in, uh, impulse response. I've already got my edited track here, we're using Wherever I May Roam, I have a part of the guitar already edited, I have a mono instance of Ozone on audio track one, but we're going to be shuffling the uh, the audio regions around a little bit, and you'll see that in a minute. So step one, you know, assuming you've got all the stuff edited already, where you want it, and your plugins inserted, step one is to record um, an uncabinet simulated <coughs> cat arse, what I call it, uh, instance of your tone, and to see my axe edit, Uh, the effects loop send is going into Pro Tools, and you can see the filter's not doing anything. Um, but that is what's allowing my uncab simmed tone to go into Pro Tools. Um, so, without further ado, we're going to try and record this as good as possible here. Okay, now what we do is I like to well, separate those first. Move this over here. Come on. Move this up. Uh, the level difference, I'm told, doesn't really matter. We're going to go over to snapshots. I should also mention under options, you're going to want the filter or frequency resolution to be 3, so the filter size is 16383. You want your buffer size to be 8192. Your, where is it? Snapshot time, uh, infinite. So we're going to start capture and then play back wherever I may roam first. Just analyze the curve right now. Okay, stop that. I'm going to name that Rome, just so I know. Okay, then this is the Cat Arse one. We're going to start capture, press playback. <laughs> Stop capture. We'll call this cat arse. Now you go, you take it out of bypass. This this whole area being grayed out. I just pointed at my screen like as if you guys could see me. Um, grayed out means it's bypassed. I don't know if it has to be in bypass when you do this, but Clark said to do that, and uh, I've done it both ways, and either way it works. So we're going to take it out of bypass, and this is where it gets kind of bass backwards. Match from, apply to. In my brain, that means I want to match from wherever I may roam and apply to cat arse. But it's actually the exact opposite. I don't know what they're thinking. But now you go over to, you have to click matching here. That's the type of uh, equalization mode, uh, analog or digital. Uh, either way it does it. I haven't heard a difference in the IR result. Um, then you bring the amount up, and you can see it's starting to do to your tone what you wish you could do without this. But you also have this. And if you see you see this spike here all the way over on the, the right, that's what I'll have to deal with that later. But that will prevent you from having a IR that sounds comparable and level to your stock uh, uh, stock IRs from Fractal or Own Hammer or Red Wires or whatever. And this is also crucial here. Amount all the way up to 100%. You can see how it's scooping out those boxy mids. And then take out the smoothing. This is what really details the whole process. Okay, now we're going to 
bring this down here, taking it off of the track with the plug-in on it. And then we're going to turn that up. Took me a while to get these levels set. So we'll see. Let's play it back. From the beginning. Okay, that sounds awesome. Next step is to go over to Voxango, which for me, I have to run on a PC because I am actually running a Mac. Go to Test Tone Generator. Set this according to your project rate. Minus 24 by 48. Mono, 15 seconds. We're going to generate that. I've already actually generated it, but for the purposes of this, I'm... Um, There we go. Now we go back into Pro Tools and import that, or whatever DAW you're using. I've already imported it. Here's my sweep right here. You're going to drag that in to the the track with this on it. Now, I didn't realize this the first couple times, but that is way too loud. It's going to clip this, this uh, plug-in, and it's going to mess up the sound of your IR. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to just a um come on there we go i'm going to bring this down by like 20 something db it only lets me do 18 so we'll go down another 4.5 over here process that you can also turn the track down but that's just how i do it um then I'm told you need to LMO, the guy who designed, um, I think it's the uh, Axomatic. He says he likes to have twice as much silence as the length of the sweep. So 15 second sweep equals about 30 seconds of silence. Now I'm going to take this track out of record mode bounce this. It's got to be mono. Mono summed. Leave it at this. Four, 24 bits, 48k. I'm going to name this. First of all, I put it all in the same folder. Workspace. Exited. I'm going to put this in my sweep file. Wherever I may Rome sweep, and that's just how I think, so that's the way I do it. And we want to keep this from clipping. You know, it might do it right at the end when it gets to this region, but now we're good. Okay, now we just wait out the silence. And let's see, what can I do to keep you guys interested in the process here? Actually, I don't want to do anything because my Pro Tools has been kind of skitzy with my X2, and I don't want to get a CPU error here, so we'll just wait. Five, four, three, two, one. Converting files. Okay, now we go over to Voxengo. I look for that sweep of wherever I may roam. And then this is where you set where the file is going to be sent to, and I just like to put it in my Voxengo file. And this is key right here. This is a high-pass filter. I set it at 55 hertz, and I've found that if I set this at 10.5K, it's going to, um, in a 60 dB per octave slope, you want the output depth, bit depth to 24 MP transform. That's, uh, I believe it's minimum phase. 
and then normalize to negative 0.3 dBFS. That's crucial, otherwise your IR will be quiet as hell. And this is also because that frequency spike that goes way up at the at the end will actually keep th the rest of your frequencies about 18 to 25 dB quieter than you want. And then you'll be cranking your IRs and blowing speakers and your brains will be bleeding and all that crap. Um, so now we go process and it's going to generate this file. It's deconvolving it and I've never heard this explained but the way my brain explains it to myself is that it's taking the sweep file and it's subtracting that whoop, that whole tone from the curve and then it's leaving you with just the curve left. Now I'm going to go over to this here. And this is this is where I just I'm navigating to that sweep. Uh, where is it? Fractal. Tried to keep this under 10 minutes, but that didn't happen. It's pretty detailed. Then I go to Voxengo, all the way down to wherever I may roam sweep. Okay, we're good. We got a nice, whatever the hell this means. I don't know what it means. I know what this means. Over here, without that without this 10.5k low pass filter at a 60 db per octave you get a massive buildup of frequencies right here and it it takes this amazing sounding tone and just adds this sheen of fizz on it <laughs> we've heard a lot about fizz lately haven't we fractal people um and then this that looks weird hopefully this turns out right um and that that's all i use this x2 ir or xfx ir converter for then i come over to axomatic have this set for input file, wave, X2 format. Go down to my wherever I may roam, sweep. For whatever reason, it adds all sorts of dot six, dot six on the end there, or sykes, whatever the hell you want to call it. And we're going to call this wherever I may roam IR. That's the name that you will actually see in your axe edit and on your um, axe screen. Now we're going to go here to axe manage, user cabs. I'm going to scroll down to a vacant spot. You can see I've been going absolutely EQ matched crazy. We're going to go to the first available slot, import cab. Oh, actually i got to drop this file in the I put it in the cab location because that's just where X edit defaults to. So I figure why click around when they default it there, wherever I may roam. Right click, send to X. It's green, that means you're golden. It should actually be gold because that means you're golden. Now let's go to cab. Look for that user cab wherever I may roam. That's good. Now let me make sure my cat arse track is muted. Okay. Let's find my pick. That's it. I think I covered everything. Just under 15 minutes. Sorry it's so long, but that was real time, so enjoy, guys. And, well, let's show you real quick. Let's see if I can do this. I'm going to go to my once favorite German cab and just to show you how it compares level-wise. Turn the volume up here. <laughs>